Was Nikola Tesla behind what was determined to be one of the largest meteorital explosions in modern history? On July 11, 1934, the inventor would describe what was a new defense weapon to the New York Sun and the New York Times. Tesla would explain that not only could it be used to defend against enemy aircraft, it could also be used to stop ground infantry as well. He'd call his invention Teleforce. It was a particle beam projector that he intended to be used as an instrument for national security. The press referred to it as a death ray or death beam. With this machine, Tesla would declare that a nation could bring destruction upon any known enemy. He'd describe it as an invention powerful enough to destroy 10,000 planes 250 miles away. Tesla's goal was to accelerate mercury isotopes to 43 times the speed of sound. This would take place in a pressurized vacuum using electrostatic propulsion. Then it would be shot in a beam towards a target. He proclaimed, my apparatus projects particles which may be relatively large or of microscopic dimensions, enabling us to convey to a small area at a great distance trillions of times more energy than is possible with rays of any kind. Many thousands of horsepower can thus be transmitted by a stream thinner than a hair. The nozzle would send concentrated beams of particles through free air. When put in operation, Tesla said the latest invention of his would make war impossible. This death beam, he asserted, would surround each country like an invisible Chinese wall, only a million times more impenetrable. It would make every nation impregnable against attacks by airplanes or by large invading armies. The papers described it as a machine to end all war. Almost a year after his announcement, Tesla could find no funding. So Tesla wrote the following letter to Jack Morgan, J.P. Morgan's son. I have made recent discoveries of inestimable value. The flying machine, meaning airplanes, has completely demoralized the world. So much that in some cities, as London and Paris, people are in mortal fear from aerial bombing. The new means I have perfected afford absolute protection against this and other forms of attack. These new discoveries, which I have carried out experimentally on a limited scale, have created a profound impression. One of the most pressing problems seems to be the protection of London, and I am writing to some influential friends in England hoping that my plan will be adopted without delay. The Russians are also very anxious to render their borders safe against Japanese invasion, and I have made them a proposal which is being seriously considered. But regardless of this letter, Jack Morgan still decided not to fund him. As a result, Tesla presented his invention to the League of Nations. Two.